Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you are doing great today. This is Said Hassan from Bixband. Welcome to part 2 of how we created this visual. So, and without further ado, let's get started. What is the next step? Okay, now let's add another text at the edge let's write word all caps okay let's hit ctrl plus t transform rotate it 90 degrees by holding shift okay i think maybe a little bit smaller i think this is good move it to the edge let's change the color to be white change the blending mode to be soft light I think this is good now we need to duplicate the this to the next corner how we can duplicate it already I've told you this before yes you are right hold alt click and drag and move it to the other corner now we want it to be out it's O U T all caps guys okay i think we are going in the right direction but this is a little bit in high opacity so let's reduce its opacity a bit from this slider yes 75 is good okay now what is the next step guys the next step will be adding shadows to the main character how we can do this first of all we need to choose the main character layer there is two ways to choose the layer the manual way the main subject here choose it from the layer panel but this will consume you a lot of time the other professional way to choose it first of all make sure you are on the move tool here and the auto select is unchecked hold control and click on the subject you want to be chosen yes it is choosed automatically here in the layer panel those shortcuts might be hard to remember at first but once you get used to it it will save you a massive amount of time now let's add an empty layer below the main subject layer hold ctrl and the click create new layer and this will create a layer automatically below the uh, layer you want okay let's hit b for the brush tool make sure the opacity 100 percent and the flow 100 percent okay let's make it a little bit smaller now again guys how you can scale up or down the brush by holding alt and right mouse button okay click and the drag now we want to add the shadows we want to choose a color similar or closer to the background color hold alt while you are in the brush this drop uh, eyedropper tool will will appear click now we have the color of the background double click here we want it more darker and more desaturated this area is fairly good maybe a little bit darker hit ok to confirm now let's give it one stroke now let's hit ctrl plus t for transform right click to get the perspective now we are on our perspective choose the top right corner click and the drag it is moving in a perspective yes this is good let's hit enter to confirm again ctrl plus t to transform hold shift at the middle corner click and the drag yes i think we are going in the right direction hit enter to confirm v for the move tool now move it under or below his leg let's position it however you want i think it is good now let's change the blending mode to multiply shadows here are helping us to give the illusion that the main subject is standing on a floor this will help us to make the visual more realistic and natural for the viewer's eye this is a cast shadow now we need a contact shadow it is harsher and darker how we can do this let's create new layer by hitting this plus icon b for the brush tool right click maybe the hardness we can make it like 55 is okay let's make the brush smaller a bit we don't need larger one stroke Control plus t for transform hold shift from the middle corner click and the drag move it below his feet let's scale it from the center by holding alt 
yes i think this is a good position let's hit enter to confirm this channel is dedicated for junior designers who are looking for their first job or midway designers who are looking to learn new professional techniques to level up their skill set so make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned with all the new content i'm uploading three times a week okay now we want it blended a little bit with the other shadow how we can do this change the blending mode to multiply and reduce the obesity a bit yes i think this is fairly good let's hit ctrl plus zero to view the full visual and we are going in the right direction now guys what is important we are going to make this text interactive how we can do this this will consume a little bit of time but this is what will make the visual pop up a little bit and make it interesting okay first of all choose the b, la the b layer by the techniques i just explained to you okay now we have this in the layer panel let's create new empty layer let's create a clipping mask by holding alt and click between the layers now we have a clipping mask okay let's go to g for the gradient tool make sure the foreground and background colors are white and black click and drag from the corner yes to change the blending mode to soft light yes hit enter to confirm we have this illusion of a light coming from a certain direction which is matching the light source we have here in our visual now let's do this for all the four letters here choose the o layer again let's create new empty layer i'm going to speed this up guys because it is fairly the same technique welcome back guys i have done the same techniques for all the four characters now let's add some details what details we can add first of all we need to add shadows behind his arm to make sure it is a little bit interacting with character create new empty layer b for the brush tool hold alt to get the eyedropper tool click once double click on the foreground color let's make it a little bit darker and desaturated right click make sure the hardness is zero percent the opacity should be five percent and the flow should be eighty percent and let's start to add some shadows yes we have some shadows here i think it is good let's see before and after yes we have a difference now guys let's move to the o letter this is the most interesting letter because we are going to make it interactive with the body of the main subject by making this area visible in front of his arm and this area is invisible behind his forearm how we can do this first of all we need the main subject layer as a selection we want to load it as a selection how we can do this choose the main subject layer hold control and click the layer icon yes now we have the main subject as a selection go to the o layer okay now while the selection is active click the mask tool yes we have it inverted we want to make it the other way around how we can invert the masking by first of all make sure you are on the mask and hit control plus i yes okay the whole o is behind the body we want to show this area how b for the brush tool make sure the foreground color is white and the opacity is 100% the flow is 100% okay and the hardness 100% now let's brush yes we have the full arm yes visible and it is interacting with the body this is a good technique and you will need it a lot in other visuals or artwork this technique might seem hard for a beginner so make sure to take your time to fully understand it now we need to add shadows to the main subject and the o letter first of all let's add to the o letter here behind his arm choose the o layer create new layer 
B for the brush tool make sure the opacity is 5% and right click make sure the hardness is 0% choose the soft regular brush and start brushing let's see before and after yes we have shadows now we want to add shadows to the body in this area and in this area how we can do this choose the main subject layer by the technique I have shown before let's create a new layer make a clipping mask by holding alt and the click between the two layers B for the brush tool make the brush a little bit smaller make sure the opacity 5% and start brushing let's see before and after yes and we are going in the right direction that's it for today guys see you in the next chapter